Welcome back to the Block and Nickel Money Party. I am your moderator, Donnell. That's right, we're gonna groove a little bit. The music gets into my party heart, party heart, party heart. I hope you're ready. Welcome back to the Block and Nickel Money Party. I'm, man, I'm, I'm just so, I'm at a loss of words right now. I am at a loss for words. Some of the things that I have suspected for a very long time has been confirmed by CNBC. What has been confirmed is that Amazon, Amazon.com, yeah, Amazon.com is in the process of competing with its customers. Now, what customers are I talking about? Well, Amazon flows into uh, three categories. It has three sets of customers. Um, one, uh, one is a direct consumer who purchases on a retail level from Amazon. That's one customer. The second customer is web developers who need to host and stores and store information on uh, Amazon's servers, which is a whole nother category, whole nother topic. But that's the second group, that's the second category of customers. Amazon's third customer are sellers, direct sellers who host stores on Amazon. Once again, these are direct people who host, these are people who host stores on amazon.com and uh these are usually um sellers they sell things various items some of them are uh, are mainstream and then some of them are variants of mainstream items which are called private label now the private label the private label program is the bread and butter to a large percentage of Amazon's sellers. Once again, the private label program is Amazon's bread, I mean, are the sellers bread and butter. So what happens when the platform, which is Amazon, the platform that, are, that you are using to host your store on, your online e-commerce business on starts to compete with you. Oh man, it's a scary thing because they have all of the information, they have all of the data, and it's just it's just a weird cluster thing. So here is a a, a perfect example of capitalism and cannibalism. So what's going on right now is Amazon is gearing up to compete. <laughs> Once again, Amazon is gearing up to compete with its customers who host businesses on their platform. Now, that is some that is some crazy stuff, but it just shows that a lot of times these guys they come into the especially these these um tech companies they come on with these these huge grandiose save the world ideas and how they can help the world but in actuality it's just another business and it's just capitalism and they wrap themselves into some moral standard but in actuality they're just business vultures like everybody else and maybe they didn't start that way but that's what they become now, why am I talking about that? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I would much rather be talking about the different uh, categories that set the ETF trading has switched over because it, it set the ETF trading is being reclassified. And I would, I, I would rather talk to you about that. But this right here struck a chord to me because, as you know, I've dabbled in e-commerce and I, I still do e-commerce. 
my wife, she does e-commerce, and uh, we do it on another level. No, we don't use Amazon, and I could get into a whole another. I could get into a spill about that. We don't use Amazon because time after time, it's been shown that the game is rigged. Now, if you've been in or on, should I say, if you have been selling on the Amazon platform for maybe 10 years prior to today, you you will have a nice footing and you won't relatively be affected behind this because by that time your momentum and the things that you've developed the techniques and stuff like that will be fine but for the newer people who wanted to get into this game two to three years ago huh tough luck so you're you're battling you're battling this thing on two sides you have amazon who is competing with you on the private label, private label items, but you also have the manufacturers that you purchase these items from, your overseas manufacturers. Guess what? They're on Amazon as well, and they're competing with you too. So one person has the technology advantage on top of you, and then another company has the price advantage on you. So what does that leave you in the middle? So why am I talking about that today? Because I, what I, what I want to show you is that businesses were always business. And what does that mean? A business is going to business. And what does that mean? They, they are here to make profit and make money. Nobody is here to save the world. And definitely nobody is here to save your ass. So you got to keep that in mind. So a lot of times... You, you hear these little things about, oh, Amazon FBA, Amazon, these people can fill by Amazon. This is a great option. This is a good way to go. Go that route. Use their platform. No, when you're using their platform, all they are doing is taking your ingenuity and your cool, your, your ideas and recording everything cool that you do creatively to better yourself and better your company, they are taking that and you and weaponizing it and using it against you. Now, here you go. You have that going on, but on the other side, Amazon is saying, oh, we're gonna raise our minimum wage to $15 an hour. Yes, Amazon is raising their minimum wage to $15 an hour. And I'm gonna tell you why, because they would prefer you to work for them in their warehouse, driving their cars, doing whatever, than for you to be independent, owning your own company. Why? Because they do retail. That's what they do. And they don't give a rat's... <laughs> That's what, we're not going to say that. They don't give a dang about if it hurts you or if it makes you lose or what's going on, if you're losing money or whatever. They don't care because it's not about that with them. Now, I do want to I do want to say that e-commerce is not dead. E-commerce will be around. You just have to understand that you cannot rely on these platforms to do e-commerce. You have to build your own network, build your own platform to sell your products. Now, I'm not saying that you got to go and build another Amazon. What I'm saying is that you find your product, whatever you're going to sell, you you do that, and then you have to build that, and you can use it. And then you, can, you build your own website, you do it on your own, platform and yes you you might not have that global reach or those eyes that amazon will put you in front of but guess what you will have you will have complete ownership of your store or your online store which if whichever you want to put it do not look to build your success or your company on somebody else's platform because whenever they're ready to pull a wool from under you, 
or pull the rug from under you, they'll do it. Once again, what's going on with this e-commerce situation and people who want to sell on Amazon? It's a race to the bottom. What do you have? You have two things going on. You have the manufacturers. They are on the Amazon platform and they are selling. So you can't compete with them on price. And yes, they will do a race to the bottom with you. So the, imagine that the person that you are buying your product from is also selling their product retail. The, the company, the manufacturer that you are purchasing your product from is also selling products. Now, that's a conflict right there. That doesn't make sense. Then, the second issue is the platform you are hosting your company on is also competing with you as well. So, here we go. You have two. You have two poles, two magnets, two magnets. And you're in the middle. You have two forces. And I don't, they're competing forces, but they're not competing against each other. They're competing against you. So what happens? Everybody is winning on each side. The manufacturers are winning because why? They're getting sales from you and they're also making retail sales. And then Amazon, the platform is winning as well because what they're doing is they are learning your behavior. From machine learning and AI, they're learning your behavior, but they're also competing with, and they're using that to compete with you, your tactics, your strategies for selling. You're providing them with all the creativity, and this is this is funny because it's a bigger thing. The tech companies are creating the technology; we are using the technology. They are learning our behavior and using our behavior to make more money off of us. It's almost akin to that term called entrapment in the law when somebody may, or it's akin to entrapment. And I'll tell you a quick story. Some months ago, maybe one month or two months ago, there the police department in Chicago, Chicago PD, placed a large, a large trailer of brand new Nikes in the ghetto, the hood, and started arresting young kids who, the young boys who were breaking in there and, and, and breaking into the car. So it was a bait car. And what they did was put a lot of new Nikes in there. And then they just watched as young broke boys who didn't know any better because they were young. They were broke. They needed shoes. They didn't have any guidance. Oh, so many different parameters I could touch on. But they just watched those kids do primal things, meaning breaking into a car, and they would arrest them. Now, that's wrong on so many levels, but and I don't wanna I don't wanna get into it. I could definitely say both sides were, were wrong and I see it, but I'm just saying that's entrapment. So that's what these technology companies are doing. They are providing us with the technology to so they can learn our behavior, and one-up us. Now, that sucks to me. I don't know about you, but that really sucks to me. So what happens with that? It essentially eliminates their competition, and it keeps us one step behind because as humans, you don't recognize your patterns. As a human, you do not recognize your pattern as quick as technology would. 
Now, this is no knock against technology. I love it, and I, I embrace it, and I really believe you should embrace it as well. But what you have to understand is that if you have any goals or you want to sell anything, you want to do e any form of e-commerce, you want to sell any products online, do it on your own platform. You might not get the reach that the global reach that all of the other stores like Amazon provide you, but what you will get is your own following, your own narrative. You'll get your own customers and you won't have prying eyes all in, in, in your business, meaning the technology that's being used against you to one up you. I just thought that was so, so interesting. It's not rocket science, it's just more about being alert. And that's what we do here at the Block and Nickel Money Party. We talk about that. So if you like this conversation and you like this dialogue that I got into today, hit me up. Come to the Block and Nickel page on Facebook. Tell me that you liked it. Follow me and let me know, hey, I like these type of topics because these are the type of things that we're going to start getting into. Once again, I am Donnell. The moderator for the Black and Nickel Money Party. Thank you. And remember, it's up.